Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I'm Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five day per week wisdom and legacy building podcast. Today is day 651 of our trek, and it is Wisdom Wednesday. Every Wednesday along life's trail, we will dig for the nuggets of wisdom that are found in the book of Proverbs. Today, we will explore Proverbs 18 from the voice translation, which will give us a fresh perspective on this book of timeless wisdom. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. If you are a regular listener or reader of our Wisdom Trek podcast and journal, you may realize that we are publishing these episodes a couple days late this week. This is due to an unfortunate and serious accident that I had on July 8th. I am telling the story about the accident and my subsequent recovery on our Tuesdays and Thursdays Wisdom Nugget episodes for the next couple of weeks. The segments that we have published so far are wisdom-trek.com forward slash day dash 645, day 647, and day 650. If you'd like to follow along on my saga about life's lessons learned the hard way. I think that you'll enjoy these stories as we all realize that even at age 60, there are still some hard lessons to learn about life. One of the lessons that I've learned is to make sure that I follow the surgeon's advice if I desire complete recovery. Following advice is the focus of Proverbs chapter 18 as we learn to speak less, listen more. This chapter tackles a variety of diverse subjects, but the two repeated themes are listening and speaking. It turns out, to no surprise, that these two are related. As I read through the text, look for the listening verbs such as seek, hear, understand, acquire, and examine. Do you notice anything? Well, a hint is, if you listen more, the wiser you are. As I read the text, listen for the speaking nouns such as lips, mouth, and tongue. We discover a compelling portrait of a fool, a person who hates to listen but loves to talk. However, talking is not all bad. As I read verses 20 through 21, the wise man does not speak in haste. His words are nourishing. There is a beautiful metaphor in there. The fruit of a man's mouth satisfies. Fruit cannot be produced quickly, but is cultivated with time and care. Our words can be of a great benefit, but only through careful cultivation and listening. As we move through these sayings of wisdom, Meditate on how you can nourish relationships in your life by listening and speaking with care. So listen intently today as I read Proverbs chapter 18. Whoever pulls away from others and focuses solely on his own desires disregards any sense of sound judgment. A fool never delights in true knowledge, but only wants to express what's on his mind. When wrongdoers arrive, disgrace is right there with them, for shame is the companion of dishonor. Words bubble up from a water's deep within a person. A stream gushes from the fountain of wisdom. It is wrong for a judge to show partiality to the guilty or rob the innocent of justice. When a fool's lips move, a fight breaks out. It's as if his mouth is begging for a beating. The mouth of fools are their destruction, and their lips entrap their very soul. Whispering gossip is like a delicious first course. It is devoured with pleasure and penetrates deeply. Those who slack off at work are no different from vandals. The Eternal is known to be like a sturdy watchtower. Those who do right flee to him for protection. The rich think their wealth is their sturdy fortress. They imagine it to be an invisible wall of security. A proud heart precedes destruction, and before honor is humility. To respond to a matter before you hear about it shows foolishness and brings shame. A human spirit can endure a long illness, but who can survive a crushed spirit? Clever people go after knowledge and obtain it, and wise people attune their ears to hear it. The right gift at the right time can open new opportunities and gains access to influential people. The first ones to tell their side of the story seem right until cross-examined by their peers. Casting lots can settle conflicts and decide between powerful opponents. Winning over an offended brother is harder than breaching any strong city defenses. Such fights are as tough as the iron gates of a castle. Good words satisfy like a fine meal. Yes, good conversation are sure to satisfy. Words have power in matters of life and death, and those who love them will savor their fruit. A man who finds a wife finds something good, and the favor of the eternal is indeed his. The poor plead for help, but the rich respond rashly. Someone with many so-called friends may end up friendless, but a true friend is closer than a brother. That concludes our exploration of Proverbs 18 for today, and my questions for you are, 
Are you a better listener or talker? Do you listen when sound advice is given to you? You can only learn when you are listening. Unless you speak, just ask another question. Each week we'll explore a full chapter in Proverbs. I hope that you'll join us next week for chapter 19 so that you can gain wisdom, insight, and understanding for yourself. The entire book of Proverbs gives us such rich wisdom, insight, and understanding on a myriad of life issues. Regardless of where you are on your faith walk, if the precepts of Proverbs are followed, your life will be rich and satisfying. I encourage you to take them and plant them as seeds of wisdom into your heart so that you'll reap a harvest of wisdom throughout your life. Tomorrow we will continue Life Lessons Learned the Hard Way on our Wisdom Unplugged series. And these stories are about my recent accident and ongoing recovery. So encourage your family and friends to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our trek for today. If you'd like to listen to any of the past treks or read the Wisdom Journal, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe at iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.